really wanted to ask you, Chris, will you stream on YouTube now that Twitch allows it? Nope, I will not. Uh, you might be thinking, what the hell? What do you mean? You could multi-stream to YouTube. Why not? I know. I know that's what you guys are thinking. And I know a lot of people are like, that would be cool. You get like a thousand viewers. One on Twitch chat. How often do I miss chat? Like, let's just say I catch like one in five messages as is. Now let's add 500 people from YouTube. Dude, I would like just, I would just like, look at the scrolling text. I, I would just never see anything you guys say. So, um, while it would make me feel great, I just, I just don't want to deal with that. And, uh, I don't really see a point. Like YouTube's really meant for videos. YouTube streaming does suck. Let's be honest. It's terrible. And from a creator standpoint, it's also just equally as terrible just because, uh, it, trying to keep up the chat moderation in YouTube is awful. Twitch chat's like infinitely better. And I put all these on YouTube and I'm able to throw them through like a recut AI tool. And that recut AI can take out all these little bits where I pause. And then it kind of condenses it down. And then it makes these streams so much better on the rewatch. So you could actually rewatch my VODs and I've have a long silence like this. I'm going to make it real uncomfortable. And on the rewatch, that ends up being condensed into like two or three seconds. That's kind of cool, right? So uh, that's my thoughts on that. I really have gotten into a really good flow on this. But yes, I did see the whole, that whole thing. You can multi-stream and for most people that's going to make sense for them. But for me, it just doesn't. Uh, why weren't you at TwitchCon? Ain't nobody there at TwitchCon that wants to see me. Yeah, come on. You guys came from YouTube. Don't you lie. I am not big on Twitch. There's probably like five people that found me on Twitch. <laughs> if I went to TwitchCon, it would be to meet other people. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody's going to TwitchCon to see me. Six people. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Die. There's other people out there. Seven. <laughs> How about next year? Once we get up to 10 users uh, that, that that found me through Twitch, I'm going to TwitchCon. <laughs> yeah, you were the first, Jalopy. <laughs> yeah, you were the first on Twitch. And I think you found me through Rob. <laughs> I actually found your Twitch when you were streaming on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe I should stream once once in a while on YouTube just to drive drive people over to the Twitch channel. Like, here's how we do it, guys. All right, let's let's do the the streaming here. This might get my YouTube channel banned though. I stream to YouTube, but I don't pull in YouTube chat. I just show Twitch chat, so like they can watch me on YouTube, but I won't see YouTube chat. That would be pretty funny. That would actually be a good solution. I think the Primogen's been doing that for like a year or two. I could be. That's actually not bad for a marketing standpoint. And Twitch probably would love that. They'd probably be like, hell yeah. That's just going to drive more traffic to us because you're, you're streaming on YouTube. And I don't think there's anything in the, in the contract of YouTube that uh, that would break. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Well, no, no, it's not a Twitch rules anymore. They they announced at TwitchCon that you can multi-stream all day long. Yeah. So I, I think it would be okay. There's nothing on there for a YouTube side of thing. And they like the YouTube guys, let's be frank here. YouTube doesn't even know people live stream on their platform. It's true. Like, I don't even think they paid Dr. Disrespect to move over there. The only reason he's over there is because he can't go anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, it's just facts. And he's like probably the best streamer out there in the world. So there you go. I think, yeah, we'll just multi-stream to YouTube, but we won't turn on YouTube chat. I kind of like it. I think we'll have to make like a label and just call this like Twitch chat or put 
the little Twitch loco and then Chris Titus tech. That way people can find me. <laughs> and then we'll just put in the description, uh, chat at Twitch <laughs> or IRC dot Twitch dot TV. So then you can just pull into the IRC channel, watch it on YouTube, but just IRC chat. You could do that. Or, you know, or just pull in Chatterino. That would work. Yeah, because actually Twitch chat's all IRC based. So you could pull in a Chatterino, pull up YouTube and watch it on YouTube and then be fine. And there's going to be people actually, that actually might be the prime way to do this from a user standpoint. All right, let's put our thinking caps on here, guys. So everyone always complains Twitch ads suck. And I always like, well, you could use a bunch of ad blockers and different stuff, but you could use Chatterino for the chat. So you never are missing your chat. You got it nice and pulled up. You do like a half screen, like put this over uh, here. Let's, you could just put this over like this. And then you could put up over on this side, your video of like me in the background, but you do it on YouTube for the video. So you're streaming the video on YouTube, but you're chatting on Twitch using Chatterino. You don't even have Twitch open, so the ads from Twitch aren't there, but you could actually watch it on YouTube. That's not bad. That's a, not a bad solution. And if you don't want to pay any money for like a sub or anything, you could you could totally do it. It'd be kind of cool.